my name is Kate Heffernan and I'm the playography researcher here at Irish Theatre Institute and I'm a playwright and I'm going to just give you a brief walk through uh, Playography Ireland's ePlays catalogue. So ePlays allow you to instantly access new Irish writing, purchasing and downloading plays as PDFs. On the front page of the Playography website, you'll see a big, big black button that says support Irish playwrights. And this will take you to the full ePlays catalogue. And anywhere across the Playography website where you see a small white page icon before play title, that means that the play script is available for purchase as an ePlay. And you can see that in examples here of two plays by Kira Elizabeth Smith, All Honey and We Can't Have Monkeys in the House. They have a small white page icon beside them. When you purchase an ePlay, you do so confident in the knowledge that the lion's share of that retail price is going directly to the writer. ePlays currently retail for €20, Euro, with 66% of net profits going directly to the writer. That works out at €11.55 Euro in a writer's pocket for each script purchased. And payments are made to writers biannually uh, through the Irish Copyright Licensing Agency. We currently have 185 play scripts available for purchase as ePlays. And this represents the work of 91 writers. We sometimes approach writers inviting them to have their play made into an ePlay. Writers sometimes approach us, but from there, the process is always the same. We invite the writer to sign a non-exclusive contract and making the contract non-exclusive means that the writer is free to pursue a print publication should the opportunity arise. We add a copyright statement to the front page but we don't make any other edits. Uh, we don't impose a design or publishing style. We allow the writer to dictate the look and layout of the script. And we work closely with the writer to ensure that this look and layout is correct in the final PDF. Um, switching my hats for a second to speak as a writer, um, of those 185 scripts, one of them is mine. Um, so my play in Dog Years, I'm Dead is available as an ePlay. So long before I was a member of the ITI team, the playography editor, who was then uh, Claire, approached me to have the script included as an ePlay. The value of this for me is immeasurable. You know, in my experience, um, formal print opportun publishing opportunities tend to dry up uh, once the debut production has come and gone or the tour is finished or the production license has expired. And in this vacuum, ePlays make a new life uh, a possibility. A good example of this in action are the e-plays of Northern Irish playwright Sam Cree, who died in 1980. Uh, working with Sam's estate, ITI made 12 of his plays available as e-plays. Sam's scripts sell frequently and consistently through e-plays, and he is the highest grossing e-play writer represented. Sam's work is incredibly popular on the amateur dramatic scene, and inclusion of his scripts in the e-play repository enables and encourages the production of the work. In this way, ePlays are overall an extension of the work of playography, acting as a repository of Irish, new Irish writing and promoting a continued or renewed life for Irish plays. So I would encourage you all to visit and explore the ePlays database and library and maybe buy a play or better still, buy all the plays. Uh, thank you, everyone. That takes us uh, to our next short break. Um, please come back to us at 11 sharp when our next session will begin. And the next session is A Play is What Survives of Theatre, a series of presentations on the contemporary documentation of theatre featuring Pom Boyd, Noelle Brown, Shanna Mae Breen and Luke Casterly, Dylan Coburn-Gray and Maeve O'Mahony, followed by a reflection by Dr. Barry Hulham. <laughs>